Thank you for downloading this episode of Escape Pod. I'm David Anthony. Oh, I'm still Tony Brown. Tony, what's up, buddy? We're back. We are back in With black. anal dick jokes. With anal dick jokes. <laughs> Excellent. That's a good way to start it anyway. So who we got in the studio today? We have... PJ Starks and Eric Huskison. Hey guys! Hey, What's welcome up? back. It's good to be back. You know, and uh, and this time we we decided to give Eric the mic too, so yes, he could actually nice. be up here and talk with us. He's not all alone on the Mr. Forty Nine Percent. Yeah. So, what's the name of your company? Blood Moon Pictures. Yes, Blood sir. Moon Pictures. That is awesome. Yes. We wanted to go with something that sounds like it makes scary movies, and then at the same time could work with something that maybe could be a drama, yeah. right? You know, or a romantic comedy. I like. I, it. I wanted something that was kind of unique. <laughs> you know, and it's you know it's kind of a it's a prophecy thing. It's 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 the the picture is I mean, awesome. Or chick flick. I mean, because the Blood Moon yeah. happens, you know, every yeah. once in a while. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Well, already. Mm. It's a, so, it's a Tony unique, had to take it down that road, thing. didn't he? Yeah. It's a unique thing, and you know, it's, Eric, it's, we're not making that movie. It's a prophecy. Period. He's thinking now. Period. <laughs> <laughs> That's the name of the title. There's our catchphrase. Oh, right. Period. Right. <laughs> I'll wrap this up. Well, yeah. thanks for coming out. All right. Good talking right. to you. All. Now that we've alienated the entire uh, female <laughs> listener. <laughs> Oh, that well, was we got, PJ Starks. We, we have got a lot of things to talk about, PJ and Eric. So let's jump on to uh, the first thing we got, which is your Indiegogo campaign. Send money. Yep. <laughs> Great. Okay. Cool. And, and sorry, our next I, thing. I was looking at myself. Yeah, on please the be. Well, it, it is pretty. You are pretty handsome. Yeah, it's uh, we are doing an Indiegogo campaign. We we weren't going to do one, um, but we kind of decided it. You know, going into the process that. We wanted this film to be as gory as humanly possible. We, you know, with the with the first film, Lisa Duvall, she did all the special effects, mm-hmm. and her budget was um, in, insanely small. I think it was like twelve hundred dollars, and she wow. pulled off some really fantastic stuff on a super small budget. Yes, she did. Um, and there was thirteen deaths on screen, but nineteen deaths total. Mm-hmm. But going into the sequel, obviously, our motto has been bigger and better. And uh, <laughs> not talking about Dick Shark, of course. Yeah. <laughs> and uh, so, new topic. <laughs> so we decided that, you know, if we're going to go bigger, if we're going to go better with this film, then obviously the, the, the special effects have to be as such. So we upped the body count. And uh, it's 22 deaths total. Nice. 20 of them are on screen. Does that include the new one we... Does that include the new one from yesterday? not include uh, (laughs) some of the extra deaths and the dead bodies and things that we're going to be adding in. And of course, the teaser trailer's out there, and there's a a kill scene in that, essentially, so there's another death. Um, So... So that's when we kind of decided, well, you know, we really tried... We need to get as much financing as we possibly can, because that's what's going to help make the film that much better of course to kind of finalize that basically what she's getting for special effects on this film is what we spent for the entire last film yes there you go yeah so Uh, yeah nice that's that's where that's at yeah because she has to do full body casting life casting in this um i mean it's there's there's you know there's all kinds of really elaborate we have like a columbian necktie (laughs) wow scene in it but not not one that you've probably ever seen that I can think of. Cool, you know, cool. We try to keep things, um, you know, interesting and unique this time around. Oh yeah, yeah. Well, we don't want to give too much away. No. Well, you just heard about one. Mm, yeah, yeah. Of exactly. Deaths. exactly. So you're, you're yeah. still well, got well, a lot to look forward to. To help you guys out, uh, let's talk about if somebody is uh, wanting to um, to go on and to. Um, Throw in on the Indiegogo campaign. Uh, how are they going to find it? An easy thing to do is to click local. If you click local popular, especially if you're in the Owensboro, Kentucky area, uh, this pops up first. <laughs> is like the the most in this area. Right. <clears throat> but then, of course, they can, they can do a search for volumes of blood, horror stories, uh, blood drive, and, and it's all going to find it, too, which is nice. Is there, a, is there a URL to it, or do you know if there's like a... Um, I know the the quick link to it is igg.me forward slash at, like A-T, mm-hmm. forward slash V-O-B-H-S. Cool. 
which sounds sim- looks simple, but I guess when you say it out right. loud, it's a little bit more elaborate. Well, that's right. We'll, we, we're going to have it on our we'll have it on our website, outbreakpodcast.com, cool. uh, so people can find it there as well. Um, but let's go over some of the uh, perks. So obviously you got the quick little dollar perk. That's great, but right. let's, just to let's support get horror. Obviously nobody supports it. So, <laughs> well the good thing the good thing about this the perks you can just go in and and, and give money without even yeah yeah doing, exactly. there's a lot of people it's that like have just given five dollars perks yeah yeah I think the biggest thing has been the ones where um, people get, are getting a chance to be have be have a role in the movie yeah 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 which and, we'll, uh, we'll get we got the ten dollar ones pretty good mm-hmm. you name in the credits which is kind of cool yeah right. that one seems that's another popular one that we've had the, and those two are probably I'd say well, especially the the thirteen dollar one. Yeah, yeah. Well, and, and that's that's the one thing. I, like now, this is a you, this is a chance. Like you're gonna have a drawing right, for this, right? So not um, everybody does the thirteen dollars is guaranteed. No. But I believe it's uh, we're doing four. We're pull, pulling four names. Be two that's two awesome. males, two females, and you get a chance to play a, a, a dead body. And for the price, mm-hmm. that's a good chance. Yeah, and, and it's a featured dead body too. So you're not gonna really you're not like in the background, right? Blurred out. <laughs> where you can't really tell who it is and what it is. Well, and the thing that came up yesterday. That well, and then there's that too. Yeah. And we're constantly coming up yeah. with things. So initially, we may say, well, it's only gonna be four people. But by the time it's over with, and Eric can attest to this, and so can Trina. She's the production manager on the movie. And my beautiful wife, of course. Yes, she is. <laughs> and uh, yes. yes, they're they're constantly on me because I'm always coming up with um, ideas and how to add kill scenes, and value to the movie. Right. Yeah. Right. That's what more, it is. More and more death. Well, more one death. of the thing, one of the things that just kind of panned out, just as kind of an idea for people mm-hmm. listeners that may want to put into this. I mean, there is a scene that kind of small scene that kind of got added yesterday for more than one reason, where somebody could play a pizza delivery person. Yeah. So that could be male or female. Oh, yeah. It'd be small. Yeah. But if it pans out, that person will be on screen playing a pizza delivery person and they will die. Yep. Fantastic. It's an ex- so I guess there's 23 yeah. deaths. No, that was what I was talking about earlier. On about camera, we talked about yesterday. Well, so, by the, so by the time this is over with, the interview's over, we're going to have like five or six yeah. more deaths to this. Probably. Yeah. But that's kind of weird because every pizza delivery scene I've ever seen doesn't end in death. It usually ends in sex. Yeah. <laughs> Maybe wrong, it's a sexy wrong genre, they, Tony. Wrong go, genre. Oh, they oh, go hand oh, in oh, hand. Okay. Right? I mean. okay. We won't talk about the kind of movies that Tony watches. <laughs> anyway, so um, <laughs> let's go back to the list here real quick. And then you got the, you got your bootleg DVDs that you guys are giving right, away. I'm sure the um, uh, future distri- distributor is going to be real happy with well, that. That's all right. And then uh, <laughs> uh, Wear Volumes of Blood as a shirt. Mm-hmm. Have a chance to get. Uh, now get your picture in the film. Mm-hmm. Now is that a is that a guarantee on that one? Yes. Okay, so that means like, say, like you have a picture of your family portrait right. or something like that. Exactly. You, the, you guys will use that as set right. decoration. Mm-hmm. Exactly. And that, <laughs> right. And that, and that <laughs> that's was, awesome. Because you know, going and, and it's funny too because, and you know, Eric and I have had several conversations about this. It's it's kind of like when we when when I came up with the concept and then got with him about it mm-hmm. and we were like talking about things we were going to do and stuff. We. We were like, oh, we love this script and this, these stories and things. But then, like, the further we got in the process, we're like, oh, crap. We have to recreate multiple living room sets. And we have to have different furniture for every sequence. Oh, and wow. then you have to start. And then you take it a step further. And you think, well, if it, you know, because the whole entire thing takes place in a house. So right. it, they have to look lived in. You know, so you're not going to have brand new furniture in every scene. you got to have right. lived in furniture. Mm-hmm. And then on top of it, anybody's house you've ever been in there's knickknacks everywhere and there's random things that and made... all the pictures on the wall right and then there's yeah and, and then we're like oh we got to have pictures place. so who oh, wow. are going to be the pictures and the people in the right. pictures and every single one of these is going to be a different set right right because you don't want the same picture right, carrying exactly. through all of them unless it's you know some like kind of little Easter egg, egg. Or something yeah. yeah speaking of Easter these are all based off different holidays like the one <laughs> we just filmed was Christmas <laughs> that was a oh, clever wow. Segway right there. Really? I didn't, <laughs> nice. I didn't even catch that. That was smooth. Well, it was. I'm just saying. <laughs> well, it was cold enough to shoot that. that yeah, one. it ended up being. Yeah, it, was yeah, it worked out. I only missed it with some snow. We had the carolers out there. I think they could. You could see their breath, couldn't you? That, that's when I really knew we were really making a movie. Was that day? Yeah. Because when you walked outside and it was raining, and you've got guys standing there holding umbrellas under lights and under cameras. Yeah. <laughs> and it's like you know, it's like not like some little small project. Screw it, raining. Let's go and play video games. I mean, yeah. you know, we just keep shooting. And I oh yeah. That was just. It was really cool to see that. It was like this is for real. This is happening. Oh, and and 
I got to make a set visit, and it yeah. was very nice. We'll talk about that more in a minute. Yeah. All right. All right. So we got uh, we got uh, autographed scripts, uh, like seventy five bucks. You can get a signed DVD and a Facebook shout out, which is really cool. With your photo, uh, and, and I love this one right here. Um, everything up to this point. Including the entries into those drawings for just mm-hmm. two hundred fifty bucks, right? And that's really is a good price because you know you're going to get your picture in there. You know you're going to get a shirt. You know you're going to get a DVD, right? And you're helping support name the credit. This right. yeah, name in the credit exactly. You're going to get your support on, and plus it'd be like you know, yeah, I was in that movie, or oh yeah, my name's in the credits. Yeah, it's kind of cool. Even for that price, you can't beat that, you know. And then you've got uh, the VIP to the premiere. Uh, you've got some exclusive props that you're going to be holding back and and giving away for the people yeah. that want to spend the money. There's always crap you have left over from. Well, yeah, the movie that you but there's only five of those garage, available, so. which is really going to be cool. <laughs> there are nice props from the movie. They it's are not crap, they are. Jay. It's really expensive crap that you guys are going to love to have in your living room. <laughs> okay, back to the anal again. Okay. <laughs> Oh my god! Uh, oh, I hit the button. Uh, okay, let's go back here real quick. Damn. All right, and then uh, let's see. There, uh, it's, uh, all the way. There is um, the 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 big granddaddy though. I mean, it's, it's kind of expensive, and there's a lot of other perks in there which people can go to pay and check it out. But uh, it is uh, two thousand five hundred dollars. But you have a chance to play the sheriff in the film. But there's something yep. cool about the sheriff in that film though too. Well, lean forward here and tell me about it. <laughs> Isn't, isn't, isn't that the one with um, our special guest yes, actor? Yes, yes, that is that. Yeah, you're not only playing a sheriff, you're but in the it's, same movie but it's with. in the sequence that's called Bloodbath, and that's the one where we have uh, Moses Mosley, the actor from The Walking Dead. Oh, so yeah. you're going to be in that sequence, that's and then on top awesome. of it, this isn't actually just. You're not just going to be wearing like some costume that that we made. You're going to be wearing like an authentic sheriff's uniform with all their doodads and yeah, whatnot. you're not going to be just standing there by a police car. So they're standing you, there. So they're you're actually you're going to have a scene action, with, right, running you're, upstairs, come maybe a couple out. lines maybe. Yep. Maybe getting killed. Nice. Sweet. So you're getting your money's worth. I tell you I'm going to go to the bank tomorrow. Like, yeah. I don't know, put that one in there. You'd <laughs> be a good we sheriff. Have, we, have a, we have a budget on that. I'd be the fat guy sheriff. sheriff. Well, what have you seen a view for T Justice? That- <laughs> yeah. All right, maybe not. All righty. Well, awesome. So, Indiegogo campaign. Go on, check it out. There's 14 days left of the campaign, but I'll tell you something else. That the campaign, even though even though it ends in 14 days, you can still go on and you can still donate and you can still help right. out the cause, which right. is good because the shooting schedule for this is going to be over the next couple of months. Yeah, it goes until August. So even though even though you think you know, oh, the campaign's over, go do this now. Go to the Indiegogo campaign, donate whatever you can, help them out because this is going to be awesome. And how awesome it is is probably going to lead to some of the some of the next things we're going to be talking about coming up here in just a minute. So just bear with me that, that it's going to be really awesome. But let's get to I was lucky enough, like I said, to get uh, to go to uh, to the set and uh, check out the first part of filming, shooting a little bit of behind the scenes stuff for you guys that uh, that we're going to you know, do a little web series later on, um, which we appreciate. By the way. Oh. My pleasure, Thank my you, pleasure, and uh, and because it's really, it's different. It's not like, like I said, it's not like a bunch of guys. Like, oh, dude, let's make a movie. I mean, this is legit. These guys are really getting good at their craft, and you can tell that it's uh, it's really going to be going somewhere uh, because the first one was such a. Let's be honest, it really was a masterpiece for the budget, for what you did and where you did it at. It's a masterpiece. It really is. I mean, it is. It's great. No, my ego's already so big that there's no way. I gotta, move to the, I gotta, I gotta move here a little bit. The room's getting smaller. <laughs> That's the special effects you put in. That's it. All right. So, so on the set, filming was 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 fantastic. I mean, I got to sit and, and watch you do it. And then, man, it was it had such control, such um, discipline. I mean, when it was time to shoot, the guys call out. Uh, what what are, what are the things they say as you, as you kind of shut down the lock or I guess kind of well you know let rolling the sound. camera rolling sound um, quiet what, on the set what's John like to say clear um, clear settle settle he yeah. says settle he that was settle. Uh, that was new to me and and you know it's it's <clears throat> what you were saying a second ago about you know discipline and and things of that nature it's mm-hmm. of all the projects that I've been a part of since two thousand and eight. The crew on this one is literally it, it it's the best crew that I've ever worked with. And funny enough, you know, going going into this project, 
the crew that's from P Paducah, which involves the lighting team, the camera guy, director of photography, uh, costume, costume designer, which we've never had before, Barbie. She's, she's she's fantastic. She is awesome. Barbara Clark is you know. Unreal. I mean, and just and not only is she great at what she does, but she is just really fun to be around. The whole crew is really fun to be around. So, um, I the long and the short of it is, I had talked to a guy named Craig, came across a guy named Chris Bauer, and um, they had done a film called the the Doomsday Chapel Horror, mm -hmm. or the Doom. I'm sorry, Doomsday, the Dooms Chapel Horror. Cool is what it's called. So you can edit that part out, right? <laughs> nah, it's <gonna> lie. <laughs> it works so straight through. It's the Dooms Chapel Horror, <laughs> and I saw a trailer for it, and I was like, "Oh, this looks really cool." And then I found out these guys are from Paducah, and then I kind of did a little bit of Facebook stalking and some creeping, and uh, I ended up talking to Chris, and we started having all these conversations, and that's when I kind of st I started looking at the crew that they had and the people that they had doing what they do mirrored our group here in Owensboro so much and then Chris and I are you know we're both coming at these you know these projects from producer standpoint so we had all these things in common as far as like headaches and stressors and things that we liked and things that we didn't like and and, and you know we just we had all these conversations about you know producing and stuff so it was like we really connected that way so mm -hmm. then we started talking about hey we should work together and we had this project coming up and i and so i was like hey we should get the paducah crew on board and you you guys can help us make this and they had already kind of had an idea they'd you know chris already kind of knew about uh, volumes of blood and that kind of thing mm -hmm. and uh so so then you know the rest is history so going into the first sequence we had never actually worked with any of these people before it was very much like a there there were wild cards you know mm -hmm. we weren't really sure entirely sure what to expect and it's just what you said. It's, you know, it's you know, super tight set. I mean, they were on it yeah, constantly. We, you know, they knew what they wanted. They knew what they had to be done. There, there, there was less wrangling on this project than there was on the last one. And even Trina will tell you that even though she's production manager, she she said she felt like more like a PA because she didn't have to wrangle anybody. Right. Wow. So That's good. We yeah. had some really good yeah, it PAs. Was, it was amazing. We we only met with them twice, and that was just a small group both times. And then a couple of guys showed up we'd never even met before, seen on Facebook, and they just walked in, boom, started working. Everybody's, hey, how you doing? Yeah, started working, and then you know it's just like, hey, like we knew each other forever. And and I think with the one guy that showed up we never met, he's the guy that wrote Doomsday Chapel. Jason Do Dooms Chapel Dooms Chapel Dooms Chapel is hard he did it too they're gonna, they're I did it too so yeah, much yeah, we can't even say the name of their movie <laughs> to yeah, we can't Dooms edit. Chapel hard <sighs> right but there was but a, yeah, his Jason name Turner? Jason Turner right Jason Turner and it's funny because he he came on <laughs> he came on set and I, and and I he's super quiet right like he I think he said ten words all weekend mm -hmm. but I mean he is. What was it? Chris calls him the Swiss Army knife of production mm -hmm. assistants. And I have to agree with that because there was more than one time that that weekend that we were shooting and it was like something came up, just this one little hiccup. There's always hiccups on, of course. on set, you know, and something happened. I wish I could come up with one of them off the top of my head. And all of a sudden, Jason walk up and go, oh, well, blah, blah, blah. And I'm like, oh, that's going to be perfect. Thanks. Two hours later, something else come up. Jason comes up. Well, here, over here, do this. I'm like, oh, yeah, that'll work. And I'm like, who the yeah. hell are you? <laughs> you know? Yeah. Thank you. I mean, that's awesome. Oh, he, yeah. he, he was really, really helpful. Yeah. Then I found out that he wrote that movie. <laughs> the Dooms Chapel Horror. That's it. Yeah, the Dooms Chapel Horror. That's fantastic. Now, if we say it a million times, we won't mess it up <laughs> We won't anymore. screw it up. I know. I'm sure he's going to enjoy that you're giving a little plug to him on that, too. Oh, yeah. Go check out the Dooms Chapel Horror, which actually has gotten Jason it's, Turner. It's gotten distribution recently, yes. so it's going to nice. be coming out here pretty soon. Mm -hmm. That's very cool. Very cool. Yeah. So, like I said, back being on the set, um, like I said, it was very professional, and Thank you. Uh, it really, really was. And uh, I mean, your um, assistants, which uh, IDs, they were. I mean, they were on it. I mean, it wasn't. You know, I've seen like people do production stuff before for commercials and things like that that i've you know actually been a part of and it's just they had a passion to be there they wanted to be there they wanted to help and it was it, it showed it really did and uh and the the house that you guys got for this 
is amazing. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, the production value from the house that you're going to be using in the new movie is um, wow. I mean, it, and it it just literally fell in our lap. I mean, oh, really? a, week, a week before shooting, <laughs> yeah. literally is fell when we in our secured lap. it. We we were on the verge of saying, "Well, we have two options: we can postpone schedule or postpone shooting the film, or settle." And we didn't want to do either one of those. Right. And then the whole thing kind of. You know, like Eric said, it just kind of like fell into place very serendipitously, yeah. if yeah. you will. It's just, <clears throat> it's I don't know. It was just like because we we were we were at that point where we didn't really know what we were going to do, and then um, we were having some issues with uh, the other location that we were going to be shooting at with the uh, with the owner, and I was supposed to meet them. And uh, have them sign the location release. So they gave me the, the, the day and the time. And I went and waited. I was on the phone with Eric. I waited for about 40 minutes before they texted me and said, yeah, I'm not going to be able to make it. And it was kind of like, you know, they told me, like, slip slip it through the mail slot and I'll get it tomorrow and sign it and blah, 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 blah. And I just remember I'm standing on the – and it's funny because I'm standing on the porch talking to Eric and I'm looking at – the house next door that's got sale pending sign in the front yard i'm like why can't we be in that house (laughs) yeah and then this was on a wednesday night friday and then friday i go to my doctor's office um to get my shot (laughs) my testosterone shot because oh yeah because i'm broken (laughs) i am a broken man i need a shot too uh (laughs) Back to the house, PJ. Back Pretty soon, house. I'll be your only female listener. <laughs> but uh, so anyway, so I'm in there and I'm talking uh, to one of the nurses mm-hmm. and uh, Lauren, and I'm talking to her, and she's she's like always asking me questions, like, "Oh, can uh, you know how's the production coming? Like, have you guys found a house yet?" And this, that, and the other, and, and I, t- I explained to her to her the situation. You know, I, I was like, Lauren, we haven't found it yet, and I don't know what we're going to do. And I was, like, really down at that point. And she mm-hmm. goes, well, she said, uh, I've got a couple friends who are going to be – who are buying this house on this street, uh, and this is what it looks like. And I was like, is it that corner house? Blah, blah, blah. And I, I, pull, I got on Google Earth, and I pulled up a picture of it. She goes, yeah, that's the house. And I'm like, holy crap. It's the house right next door no way. to the house we were oh, supposed shit. to. That that Wednesday <laughs> night, I was looking at going, why can't we be in this house? So she gets in touch with the, the couple that are buying it. Right. And he ends up contacting me, and I'm on the phone talking to him. Well, I used to work at OCTV through the community college. Mm-hmm. Ironically, his wife knew who I was because I did a PSA for the college and she was one of the students in the commercial. There you go. Well, then I'm talking and then we have a production meeting that Sunday and we're talking about the house and one of the, one of the, the actors, Ron Green, who was there, who's playing the caroler, he goes, Oh, I know we're talking about the house. And he goes, Oh, you mean so-and-so who owns the house? Uh, I used to work with them. The wife, at the TV station, and then on top of it, the dad. I used to be best like best friends with his son. Wow! No. Oh. So it was like all this stuff yeah. started falling into place. Meant so then be. we ended up. Uh, no, it was Saturday. It wasn't. It wasn't the Sunday. It was Saturday. It was Saturday. Mm-hmm. But either way, um, so we ended up getting in contact with them. Had already talked to the owners, or we talked to the buyers, talked to the owners, got it all set up. Literally a week before we started shooting, all that fell into place, and we had that house. Wow. That's fantastic. The and you're going to be able to continue crazy. shooting there, right? Hmm? You're going to be able to continue shooting there? Yes. Yeah, wow. we're going to be meeting with the... Yes. Yes. <laughs> yes. Fingers crossed. Yes. yes. <laughs> I'm, well, I mean, I'll go ahead and I'll go ahead and say, but Ricky Harper, I'll give him a shout out. There you go. You know, because that's who I talked to originally, and his wife, Kelly, and they're the, the owners of the house now. They have yeah. since purchased the home. Mm-hmm. And I mean, they're they're a young couple. They're really cool. They're super freaking excited about the movie being shot in there. They kind of knew a little bit about the first film, and um, right. 
I mean, that's a bonus to buying a house. You buy a house, and then a badass horror movie is going to be shot well, there. And that's how much that better does that like get? They were like, "Yeah, cool, we're buying a house on a <laughs> yeah. horror movie." Well, they've made already, better. yeah, they've already told me that they're planning on making some kind of a shadow box or something that's going to go up over the stairway. That. You know, we're going to, I guess, you know, we'll give them stuff from the film over the awesome. period of it. I yeah, don't know yeah. what we'll give them. We'll give them some cool stuff. And then, you know, they can put it in the shadow box and they'll have all this. Because already, I've, <clears throat> people are like, when they're talking about the house, they're already calling it the Volumes of Blood house. Nice. Ah, there you go. And I said that to Ricky. I'm like, you guys realize that you're in this house and it's already being called like the Volumes of Blood house. Like, I'm not going to say it's going to become super famous, but at least. In this area, it'll become oh yeah known. Halloween parties when Halloween oh, rolls yeah. around. You get to go oh, yeah. to the Volumes of Blood House, <laughs> well, trick or treat, or have yeah, the David, party there. David, I don't know if you were outside much. But were you outside much and see people were riding by Parish Avenue and you yeah, see yeah. flashes from their car taking pictures? Yeah, take, yes, by. yes. Well, I was out there yeah. shooting the the caroling scene yeah. from the as a as you know from the back, and uh, yeah, that was really cool. In the house catty corner from this house. I knew the two ladies that worked there. I used to work with both of them, and um. One of them's daughter was in theater with in high school. God, I can't think of her name. That's all right. Bring out, you would know who I'm talking about. And they pulled up on the nights we were cleaning. Hey, you guys, what's going on? I'm like, hey, how y'all doing? I was like, I wonder if y'all was wondering. It's like, we saw what was going on. We were wondering. And so they were all, they were like, oh, that sounds awesome. That's cool. So now the, the owners of the house, now you guys going to maybe sneak them in somewhere in the movie? Maybe some background? We thing. actually did talk about having them in the film somewhere. I mean, who knows? Maybe they could play a couple dead bodies. Yeah, oh. they're, they're wanting to be at a lot of the productions and see what's going on and watch. And and so, and of course, it's their house. Exactly. Yeah, what are you going to say? Yeah, yeah, we can't really, really say no. Be there and, yeah. And, yeah. Um, so that'll be cool. Then. Oh, by the way, shitter's full. <laughs> what? <laughs> and I would think that would be, Eric, it would be even plunger. cooler to own the house. Say it was filmed here. So if they like own the movie and they're like watching it friends oh yeah when they were filming this they did this over here and, oh yeah you know, it'd be cool to be in Heck that yeah. Yeah. i mean they, they seem really really excited yeah. and, and i'll go ahead and I'll, I'll tell this story real quick i'll i've, I've already come clean with them <laughs> so to speak but you huh. know when you when you go into a production yeah immediately you're like no you don't you act like you're falling asleep oh, i'm tired <laughs> i know it's past your bedtime <laughs> Do you, do you guys have any uh, milk of magnesia? Because I think he really needs some. Hey, all I have to say is watch the age stuff today because David's about a year older than me. <clears throat> oh. Mm -hmm. He doesn't look like he takes Metamucil. Thanks. Like <laughs> hey, nice, nice I save. Was, yeah, yeah. And Dan put it back on. No. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Go, Go ahead. ahead. Tell your but, story. Uh, so, anyway, long story short, um, which is, I guess is going to be my motto tonight because I've already said that like five times. Shut it. <laughs> <laughs> so going Shoot into the any production, yeah. So going into any production, you know, you're you're like, all right, we especially going into a house that's not yours. You're, right. You, you know, you want to leave it better than the way you went into it. So you have to be careful. You know, things oh, yeah. have to be planned meticulously. That's another reason why we have different furniture for every sequence because we're bringing in our own stuff because we don't want to put anybody else's in danger. Right. So if something does get damaged, it's ours and not theirs. Right. So. We go into the house and it's it's the first night. It's Friday night, and we're all just like hanging out and shooting the movie. And of course, we're all like, you know, hey, make sure you throw this stuff away. And you know, we're having to be spot on and telling people about being careful and being safe and everything. So I uh, I go <laughs> I go upstairs and I'm talking to Jordan Troutman, uh, one of the one of the lighting guys, and we're sitting there talking. And I cross my arms and I lean back against the wall. And apparently my ass is bigger than what I thought it was <laughs> because there's these there's these like curtain holders and they have little ornate tips. Well, one of them pops off and hits the floor and breaks into like four pieces. And I was like, no. So the you know, I'm you know, one of the guys running that place, telling everybody to be careful, and the pretty much the only thing that got damaged that weekend was by me and my fat ass. So I had, you know, dun, of dun, course, dun. yeah. So I, I'd already called. And I've been I had been trying to get in touch with Ricky for probably two weeks now, just kind of off. No, we we've been playing phone tag and things, yeah. and we talked a little bit on Facebook, but I wanted to tell him in person and everything. So I call him yesterday. And Kelly answers. Yeah. And immediately I'm like, oh no. 
I wanted to tell Ricky. <laughs> but so I ended up, I, I got to talk to her and we hadn't had really had a chance to talk. So we, we get to talking about it and I'm like, look, I got to come clean. I got to tell you about what happened. It was completely my fault. And, you know, I accepted responsibility and told them. And Eric will back you on that. And I said, well, I was like, I don't even know if you guys are planning on keeping those because, of course, they haven't fully gone into the house yet. Right. And, but if they are, then we'll get, you know, I'm going to get a replacement for it because, you know, that's, and that's a whole other reason why we, why we wanted to go legit because going into somebody else's space you have to have insurance you know there 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 is a lot of liabilities going on so so your the vibration on your phone was carrying through the mic it's no big deal <laughs> i had it on silent but my vibration stop screwing this no 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 it's there. it's fine it there you go that works God, sorry sorry <laughs> It's and no I was big... telling, and I was t in the middle of a riveting story. Yeah, an it was anal riveting. story. I told yeah. you guys we were going to have uh, anal stories. Ass, of course. Was I was riveting. riveted. <laughs> it was riveting. Uh, but, uh, Tony wants to talk about something else, though. Mm. Uh oh. Yeah. What am I talking about? Yeah. Well, yeah. You know. Yeah, what you know what about. we talked about before we got oh, here. Oh yeah. God. Um, the the release of the the volumes of Blood One on DVD and yeah. Blu-ray and but how the contest winner is going to get a copy of it someday. Because that guy won, and remember he won the Facebook won. contest. Yeah, yeah, you're right. Yeah, <laughs> you're right. You did win that. Well, yeah, it's yours. <coughs> oh, when, it sorry. when it releases on April 26th, <laughs> thanks to Legless Corpse Films. That's right. That's Legless right. So we're really we're, we're, joking aside. We do want to get into it. so volumes of blood one. Yes, the first one. Yay! I'm, just, I'm excited on Blu-ray. Um, like and that's Blu -ray, that's awesome special for edition steel book independent horror DVD. i mean i may DVD. be wrong but i don't and know VOD. many blu-rays that independent horror movies well, video on demand on. too I mean, yeah it's gonna yeah, be it's right as well. that's oh, that should shit. be determined because oh, yeah. i mean it's going to happen right but there's a little bit more of a process with that than right. it is doing the blu-rays and the dvds so that that'll come a little bit further down the line but yeah um we've been but I, I did tell Tony in your in your favor that you have to get a lot to pay other people back for the Kickstarter with videos that DVDs right. Mm -hmm. What what now? Like when he was talking about his contest winner <laughs> thing DVD, you have to get other DVDs to give. We have contest winners from the Kickstarter for the campaign. Yeah, the yeah, the yeah. So I said he yeah, will be getting his that. then. And yeah. So I hope you appreciate it. I'm using my birthday money to pay for your free DVD. Oh yay. <laughs> He won a contest. He won a contest. I know, and I got paid for it. Guilty. Congratulations, <laughs> Tony. Congratulations. Guilty. That was happy, BJ Starks. Happy birthday Guilty. to me. Guilty. But, exactly. uh, it, it better be signed now, damn it. Oh, it will be. It will be. <laughs> without, oh, without a fuck you on it. <laughs> <laughs> no, I don't put cuss words on, on the DVDs. I just draw dirty pictures. <laughs> so, uh, <laughs> Dick Sharks? Dick so Sharks. Anyway, <laughs> so let's talk about the different options they get. You guys are going to have, um, they can get a limited edition steel book. Mm -hmm. yeah, what's up with and that'll be, and that's a Blu-ray, and it'll have. Uh, I mean, it just it like a steel casing. In yeah, the, it'll have yeah, the steel awesome. casing. It'll oh, have yeah. you know some extra photos and things on the inside that you can look mm -hmm. at and and what which is uh, me. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I like that. Eric's on the outside. Chad Ray, who is uh, the hood before he becomes the face, is on the inside. Yeah. So, but yeah, it's it's exciting. I've I've been going back and forth with multiple distributors for probably the last six months maybe maybe even more yeah yeah and and it was you know it started getting to this point where it was like this movie has got to come out you know yeah. it's, it's it's we premiered it last year in march a year since its premiere has already passed it's not in festivals or anything like that the one good thing i think is that you know we've already started production on the sequel mm -hmm. so that that to a degree helps keep it fresh in people's minds however at some point that excitement level is going to die down and people just are not going to give two shits about the movie anymore so it was right. like it was a now or never type situation we had multiple uh distributors who were interested in the film and you know we were going back and forth and stuff and i had all these conversations you know trying to find out the best what is that <laughs> eric you screwing things up again it's not me it's not me Oh, it's me. <laughs> oh, oh, snap. Was man. it picking that up really good? That's all right. It's no big deal. Sorry. And PJ throw me under the bus <laughs> once again. Funny okay. moment, at least. It's on camera. <laughs> <laughs> but, uh, uh, yeah, old man hands. <laughs> Too but, funny. Uh, <laughs> Too, where were we? We're yeah, so, so anyway, so it, it, it really just kind of comes down to 
like any business deal, I guess, it's who can get you the best options. Right. And in our case, it was the quickest options right. that are the best. Right. Yeah. And, and, and a lot of the problem there wasn't us spinning our wheels. But when you get into this, you're like, hey, you want to use us as your distribution company? Here's what you can do. I'm like, sure. Yeah. What can we do? Well, six weeks later, they still haven't sent you the paperwork or they haven't right, gotten right. back with you. And then you get it. It's like, well, what's this? And it's another two weeks before they get back with you on that. Right. And, and it's just get, it just keeps this big round robin going and you can't get everything done. But you finally got it done. Yes. Finally got it done. And what's the name of the company again? Legless Corpse Films. Legless Corpse Films. And they, it's legglesscorpsefilms.com, which will have the yes. link on our website. But you've got the steel book for twenty nine ninety nine. You have a DVD version for twelve ninety nine, And then you have a, the Blu-ray which is what I'm going to buy uh, for uh, sixteen ninety nine. Yes, and it comes with a. If you pre-order it, it comes with a poster. <clears throat> That's fantastic. That's limited, though, isn't it? Yeah, it's a limited. It's a limited deal. It only right. go lasts for the pre-orders. So you need to hop on to people. <laughs> right.